Hey guys, this is SB, and welcome back today to the final episode of SB's Awesome World. We are on episode 500, and, and all good things, guys, they must come to an end. We've had a great run, okay, found episodes, it's been a great series, but all good things must come to an end. Da -da. Don't look at me like that. All right, all right, okay, I'm joking. It's not the final episode. Don't you worry, all right? We're on episode 500, but it's not the final episode, I promise you, all right, guys? But if you definitely want to see more of these Awesome World episodes, leave a like on this video. 10,000 likes and, 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 and I'll keep going. I'll keep going anyway, to be honest. But <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's been a great series. I can't believe we're on episode 500. And uh, even though it's episode 500, we're still going to start it the same way as always. We're going to add an orange magenta dasher to the fish tank. A new fish to the fish tank. It's got to be done, hasn't it? Okay, we can't. We can't be uh, not adding new fish to the fish tank. And of course, we'll go and see Fred next. That's that's also going to be done. So in you go, little fella. There he goes. Cute little fish. The 500th fish. He's not the 500th fish, actually. I've been doing this for 500 episodes. How many episodes have I been doing adding fish for? Let me know in the comments, guys. Since, like, the aquatic update, I guess. So, yeah. Quite a, quite a while, nonetheless. Anyway. um, Yeah, we'll uh, we'll go and see Fred next. Like I say, we start things as we always start them, don't we? There's no, uh, no changing up uh, any of that. So we'll go and, uh, we'll go and yeah, see Fred and, uh, and, and see how he's doing. So, uh, yeah, there's my reward fish. I will, of course, today, well, you've seen from the title what I'm going to be up to today. We are going to be doing a bit of a world tour. I'm going to be showing you everything, everything in this world that I have done, okay? Because there's a lot of stuff in this world, you know, you get a lot done in 500 episodes. In fact, guys, the tour starts now, okay? I'm not coming back through here again. So, uh, yeah, this is this is the beginning of security towards Fred's office. So, we have Thompson and Thompson. These are the guards. They try to make sure nothing gets through, but it, it doesn't always work out, does it? So, next, we have the next high-level bit of uh, security, which... It's amazing technology that only works some of the time. There we go, the eye scanner. Perfect stuff. All right, next we've got Sean. How you doing, buddy? He's uh, the secretary around here, okay? He, uh, he he makes sure you go through. In fact, he doesn't actually listen to what you say. Hello, Sean. Are you all right today, buddy? You think he's talking to you. Sean, are you having a good day? Yeah, I'm glad you're doing well. But then you realize he's he's actually just looking at, at over there. I was going to put a painting on the wall or something for him, but he's, <laughs> he's just not interested, so we'll leave him to it, all right? Moving on now, we've got, we've got this little room, okay? So, yes, this is all of... Fred's office, and then we, we have got his challenge shop. Good morning, Miles. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. We've got the turtles, Marvin and Shelly. These are Fred's turtles, okay? You know what? I don't even have any pet turtles myself, but Fred, he's got an amazing enclosure for turtles. It's something I never got around to, uh, to making <laughs> a, uh, a turtle enclosure. And then uh, Barry the Bay, there he is. He makes Fred's honey, okay? Because Fred likes honey for some reason. Good morning, Fred. How you doing, buddy? Today's challenge, have a free fish today. Congrats on five episodes. Oh, wow, friend. You know what? That is kind of you. After all this time, all right, I must have been on about 400 challenges nearly for you. It's it's time I got a free fish, isn't it? That has to be said. So, yeah, that's um, that's, <laughs> that's good, good stuff. All right, so that's Fred's challenge shack. Okay, it used to be a bug ground. Oh, geez, we'll remember that. But, uh, yeah, well, uh, I guess we'll have to crack on with the uh, the tour then. So, we've got we've got a lot to cover. I'm going to be honest, guys. This is, this is, there's a lot in this world. Um, It's going to take me a few hours to get through everything. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get through it as quick as I can. But obviously, we don't want to rush it either, you know. We're going to enjoy this uh, this this episode. I mean, people have been asking me to do a world tour for so long, and I, I can't believe I've left it this many episodes to do one. <laughs> that reward fish was tasty, by the way. But at uh, long last, you know, we're uh, we're going to get there, aren't we? So I'll start with my house, all right? This is something that, to be honest, um, like if I if I remade my house now, I'm sure I could make it way better. But there's memories involved with this house, okay? So look at that. You can ring, ring the bell if you want, you know, see if anybody answers. Nobody ever will. Okay, so... We start here, everything looks normal, all right? There's no no secret paintings around here, or is there? Of course there's a secret painting here, yes. So we've got this. This is this is like a long-standing thing, this. You go down here, the super secret cyan sheep, known as Jeb, all right? <laughs> this is SB's super secret room. I bet half of you didn't even know about it, did you? No, this is a secret room down here. Um, so yeah, it's a cool little uh, cool little place. And if we, uh, can, when do we, do we do downstairs or do we upstairs? Let's go upstairs first, okay? Before we, before we mess about, all right, obviously, you know, got my balcony, you know where that is, all right, I've got my bathroom here, very nice indeed, we've got a, a flooded shower, all right, the, the plumber's meant to be coming around, I think Fred's meant to fix it, but he's he's a bit useless, guys, okay, uh, we've got towel rack here, toilet, sink, great stuff, all right, this was, this was made again a long time ago, but I really do uh, like the way that it, uh, it turned out. Next, we've got Fred's bedroom. I can't remember what this room was before it was Fred's bedroom. Does any of you guys remember? It was something else. I'm sure it was. It must have been. Anyway, it's Fred's bedroom now, okay? Uh, I got all these slabs and put them in. I don't know why. <laughs> I should probably get rid of all those slabs, but uh, yeah, this is, this is Fred's bedroom, his bed. He's got a TV. Yeah, he's got a way better room than me. I don't know what he's got. He's got a random iron sword. I don't know what that's all about. Yep. So this is a half-eaten cake as well. Good stuff, okay? So that's... Uh, yeah, that's Fred's bedroom. <laughs> Very nice indeed. All right, we've got the uh, the balcony. Yeah, get a good view of everywhere. Love it. Why is there a horse in the rabbit 
enclosure. I do not know that, okay? Yeah, to be honest, my animals, they never stay as they should do. <laughs> There's always, they're always massive mix-ups, isn't there? And then, of course, my bedroom. You've already seen this. I mean, most of you know about this, but we've got a secret painting behind here with my rain, my raincoat and stuff like that. You know, all those important things. If it's raining, I put that on. Um, and yeah, just all sorts of, well, that's, that's a great chest, isn't it? That's how I've got some good items in. And uh, loads of tobacco and Yeah, I've got quite a lot of them. Iron, I've got all sorts of armor. I don't really need any of that stuff. Don't know if I have anything. Okay, well, I can't look in that chest. Uh, we've got some diamonds and chain. Yeah, even I don't have a clue what's in uh, in half of these chests. Um, and then, of course, this little secret place. You might know about this. Okay, it's got a map of the whole area. Apparently, I need to explore these two maps. I need to get around to that. And uh, my armor as well. Okay, although it's not got my best boots because I wear my best boots. Okay, which need repairing. Okay, I, I don't think I can repair them. I'm going to have to make some, some new boots at some point. That's... Uh, that's on the agenda. Okay, so uh, that's uh, that's all of that. All right, obviously we've got random things like an empty... Oh, no, it's not an empty barrel. Got red dye and then my loom. Okay, so I guess maybe I, my idea was to put things for the loom, banner crafting stuff in that barrel. That's that's good idea. I don't know why I never did that. I never really made any more banners. <laughs> so here we have the attic. Okay, as you can see, it, it could do with a bit of a spring clean. All right, it's a bit overgrown, a bit cobwebby. I like to avoid coming up here. There's usually spiders. So I tend to tend to stay out of here whilst whenever I can. Okay, so that's... that's um. That's me attic, all right? It's not the most exciting thing. All these chests, I don't really think they've got much in them now. They're, they're pretty empty of these chests, okay? I don't really bother storage. So maybe I should make my attic like the storage place. It's too late for stuff like that. We've got an underground storage. All right, upstairs, complete. Downstairs, all right, we've got a fish tank. There used to be a creep that lived in here, but now it's... I feel like a proper tour guide here. I know the whole history of everything, don't I? Yeah, it was once owned by a creeper, but now... It is um, it, there's actual fish that live in here since we got an aquatic update, so they're uh, they're all very happy swimming about in there. We did have turtles in there for a brief time, but that that never worked out. Fireplace, love it. Um, it should it, it's a bit off. It looks off center. I know it looks off center, but that's just because it is off center to be quite honest. Oh, it's it's in line with the door, right? Yeah, it's in line with the door. If nothing else. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, down here we have a secret uh, a secret tunnel, and this secret tunnel allows me to go to my spy base and spy on Imajolum, but we're not gonna go there. Uh, just yet. We might use that. We might fly across. I don't know uh, exactly what the uh, the plan is. Obviously, that's that's another entrance way. Uh, if we go this way, okay. These cakes have been here for about sixty years, by the way. Um, so I wouldn't ever eat those if you ever if you ever find yourself coming in. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll probably won't enjoy it. All right. So we can go down there. We can go to the secret base. We'll do that in a bit. Okay. That's not. Uh, we'll not do that right now. But uh, we can go here. Here is Fenton's lab. Okay. And there's Fenton, happy as ever. All right. He, he doesn't look very happy, does he? What are you doing, mate? Okay, he's, he's, yeah. Oh, you're not happy to see me. You need, you need to, uh, you need to work on your clothes by a bit, by the way. It looks like they're a bit small. Yeah, you need to get a bigger size next time we ask for a coat. Uh, so this is Fenton's lab. He's, he's always up to all sorts of experiments. So I'll, uh, I'll leave him to that. And then we shall now head across to the, uh, the chess room, okay? That is, uh, I guess, the next thing. Oh, the kitchen first. Don't ask why I've got lava in my kitchen. I just thought it looks cool. I mean, who doesn't think it's cool to have lava in your sinks, okay? You might wash up stuff in, uh, <laughs> with with warm soapy water, I disintegrate it with lava. All right, you know. Oh, what's this? What have we got? Oh, a bit of a a, a mucky uh, a mucky uh, yeah a mucky. I was going to say what is it? A bucket? A mucky bucket? Um, I can't even say that. Try and say that about ten times fast. A mucky bucket. Ah, well we don't wash it up. We just chuck. It. Oh, we missed. <laughs> Let's see. I don't wash up very often. Chuck it in there. There we go. It's disintegrated. All right, washing up done. That's that's the way cool kids do washing up. Okay. All right, to the chest room, which. To be honest, it needs a lot of work. Um, so I built this a long, long time ago, and I did a lot of it. Okay, and it I didn't have much iron. I didn't have an iron golem farm back then, so I had to mine the iron for the hoppers, and it took a long time. So I never like finished it. But now I've got tons of iron. I could finish it. I did mine out a big area ready to like expand it around these walls. I just never got around to it, to be honest with you, and I've no excuse. So um, you see, it uses a lot of hoppers, a lot of hoppers. So imagine manually mining for all the iron. Of course, yeah, I did. Um, did get an iron golem farm later, so that 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 would have made it easy to do, but I just I just could never be bothered. So obviously one day this will look so much better. It's still amazing. I, I mean let's let's you know let's just show you how it works. So we get a bit of you know grab some cobble, grab some some wood. Let's just we don't need to get loads of wood, do we? Um, you know I, it's it's oh, uh, let's get some netherrack. You know it's 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 at its finest. This okay? All right, it will uh, we'll grab a couple of a couple of torches. Okay, bit of dirt. And basically, it just, you stick it in this chest, and it uses some fancy technology, and it just sorts itself out, okay? It, it goes through, and it sorts back in the chest. So let's go to the, the oak wood chest, see if we can go there. Now, let's go to the netherrack chest, and look, you'll see the netherrack chest. It'll start going through. Will we see it? There we go. You see the netherrack going through there? It's filling up in this chest down here. Look at that. 
So that's it's just sorting itself out. Okay, I don't know what was the extra ex extra added. Yeah, I don't know what else to put in there, but these these are all Hill difficulty chests. But that's the auto storage room. People seem to be impressed by that, even though it's <laughs> it's not quite finished. Alrighty, we've got the uh the nether portal room, which recently got blue fire added to it. How cool is that? I'm I'm impressed. Do we go to the nether now? Nah, I tell you what, we'll, we'll we'll do the rest of downstairs and then we'll go to the nether and check all of that out. Also got my little conduit room here. It's a it's a throne with the conduit in the middle. Um to be honest, it's difficult to see it unless you're outside. So there we go, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Nice little throne. Um, I, th I really like this room. I, to be honest, I think I really outdid myself in building that one. I don't know how I built something so good, actually. I think these two rooms are actually, like, top-class rooms, aren't they? Um, so, yeah. I'm not sure if the conduit room should be connected to another portal room, but, you know, it just it just makes sense. You know what? I think it works. I didn't have much space elsewhere to put it. <laughs> I wanted it to be close enough so I could use it. Uh, this is my furnace room, so, to be honest, I need to make it so these blast furnaces and smokers in here, so maybe I could do, like, blast furnaces... And smoke. Actually, make a, you know, some of the comments, make a list of everything I need to do with, that I say in this video. <laughs> Finish storage room. Add blast furnaces and smokers, all that sort of stuff. Right, um, yeah, so they're all, they're all filled with coal. Look at that. Loads of coal in here. So, it's all ready, it's all ready to be smelted. It's perfect. I should make an auto smelter even, but I've, I've never done that. I wouldn't actually anything like, oh, we're a bit short on coal there, aren't we? Mm, missing a couple of things. I, I love the lava floor as well. I, I'm a big fan of lava floors in, uh, in Minecraft. I think it just looks cool. Okay, so this is, uh, is just a nice normal little room yeah nothing nothing to see here no no secret paintings or anything like that no no it's just it's just completely normal is this room right wrong ah yes so this you just twizzle this book here and look at this you can go through secret fireplace room and uh this is this is actually not meant to be open hold on hold on let's get back through okay it's meant to be like this. So it's like a secret room. You just, you have no idea. This, so this is where I had to hide Fred after he went to prison because he'd stolen stuff and everything. It was a bit of a nightmare. You had to go undercover here. So, oh, okay, we've got this as well. I, wait, why did I have this? Okay, it's blocked up slightly. <laughs> I don't really remember anything about that. Was that, was that. Was that an emergency escape or something? So anyway, it was in here. Oh, was that where Fred escaped through? I think it might have been, yeah. Um, But yeah, if you want to get through that secret way, which you never saw, stick an item in there and it opens up. And then down here leads to my stronghold. I didn't even know that the stronghold was underneath my house when I, I created this world. And it took me like well over 100 episodes before I actually went to the end for some reason. I think it was a long, a lot of episodes. And I discovered the stronghold underneath my world. I don't know why I took so long to do it. But um, oh, it's because I wanted to do a separate series on it first before I, I did it. Anyway, so here's the stronghold. You follow these chisel bricks and you can go to the end. Now, I think I'm going to go to the end because it's just going to save me some time, isn't it? Uh, whilst I'm here, so we'll go. We'll go check out the end. Um, I hope there's not a dragon in here at the moment. I don't see why there would be. All right. So you're probably wondering, SP, why have you got dirt all around here and and train tracks and everything? So th this is for my um, the the one thing that I've built in the end. Um, is a is an oh I, I did build a beak. Oh, I did build a bedrock farm, but that's another story. Okay, you have to watch the episode where I mine bedrock to uh, to see that. Anyway, um, yeah, I built a village in the end, and I I really love it. I think it's amazing. So wait, did I just anger this enderman? Don't tell me I did. Yeah, I've got an angry engine. Okay. Is he, is he... Oh, just get out of it. Look, I'm trying to shoot a video here. Okay, so... Yeah, we, we've got the video. Apparently, it's night time in your eyes. Okay, guys. So, they don't blow up when they sleep in beds. I would blow up. Um, and there's a lot of villagers in here. And these cats. Cats spawn when you have villagers going and everything. Look at them all. They're having a whale of a time. We've got a nitwit, you lazy you lazy thing. So, yeah, they're all they're all asleep. They're, uh, they're good. But, uh, yeah, I built a village. Just build a village, add beds, add job site blocks, and villages will breed and you'll get cats and everything. It's, it's pretty cool. Have we got um, have we got any in here as well? No, we could get two more villages in here. Uh, I don't know how to do that exactly, but <laughs> I have to breed them to their maximum capacity. But, you know, what? I'm happy. I've got seven villages. That's, uh, that's pretty good. So that's me. That's me village. And I've got an ender pill now so we can go over here. I didn't just look at an enderman, did I? I hope not. Okay. Right. We fell down here. I, I think, I hope this, I, I can still get out of here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, you'll have to watch the episode where I, I think it's called Mining Bedrock. It's not Breaking Bedrock. There's, there's two episodes to do with Bedrock Breaking. The Mining Bedrock one is where you can actually pick it up. So this is why there's snow everywhere. There's somewhere there's golems here and stuff. There's a beacon for haste. As you can see, I've got haste up at the moment. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave. I'm back home and it is night time. So why don't we sleep whilst we've got the opportunity? I don't want phantoms chasing me or anything like that. And we'll go and check the rest of the uh, the downstairs out and, and see everything uh, see everything in uh, in action. So you can see, like, just my house alone to tell you everything about my house, it, it takes a while. I'm trying to be thorough, though. I don't want to miss anything out, you know, because a lot of people ask me, can you do a world talk? Because SB, I haven't watched every single episode. I don't, I don't know everything that you've done. So, you know, of course I can I can do that. I should have relit the, the uh, 
I closed the door through there as well, shouldn't I? But there is a button you press when you go through, which you saw, so I, I should have done that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's throw some string on the fire. Perfect. Okay, good stuff. So uh, the next the next rooms, we've got the enchantment room. Nice little room, a bit of ice. You don't see many people use ice in build and snow, but you see me using it. So we've got an empty chest there. And uh, these are all like the things I just... I think I just enchanted these so I could get different enchantments. So yeah, that's, that's good. I could put these on the grindstone now, though. I should put a grindstone in, shouldn't I? I should add that to the list. <laughs> uh, we've got ourselves the potion room here. So this is an automatic... We have a llama that lives here now. The wandering trader just dropped his llama off. So basically... This is automatic, so you just you want you want any of these potions, you just push the button. So let's say we want some strength potions, and we want to we want to add more strength to the strength potion. Maybe make it strength two instead of strength one. We push this button, as you can see, it starts making an awkward potion, and uh, it will it will make myself some strength two potions. So it's great. I haven't updated it to all the new potions yet. I think I'd have to change all the redstone to make it bigger, and I don't know if I actually have the space to make it big. Do I have the space to make it wider? I might do. You know. I'm, yeah, it might fit. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is um, I can't remember what I even called this room to be honest. But this is a room. It's 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 just meant to be a peaceful room. You know, you come here, relax, have a nice time. Connected to the ice sculptors room, which I really like. Um, yeah, got me and Fred in here, two two sculptors of each other. And then we have we have the the dabbing disaster room, which uh, there was a glitch where you could add slimes to like their feet if you saw the episode. So I, I gave them all slimes, but now. They're just holding the slimes, okay? They fixed the glitch, so it, it, it looks a bit strange now. They're all dabbing with slimes in their face. <laughs> Don't dab, guys. It's, it, it was too... It's too old now, all right? Dab, dabbing... Dabs, dabs are dead, if you ask me, all right? <laughs> That's the dabbing disaster room. If we go this way, <clears throat> we have the uh, the fossil room, the museum, the archaeology bit, okay? So I discovered a fossil, and I moved... I repaired it and moved it into uh, into a, a... What's the word? An exhibit. An ex a, a fossil exhibit here, okay? So you can see that. Come past here. If you go all the way this way as well, we have the uh, my satisfying rooms. It's got satisfying things in Minecraft. So this is this this here is a satisfying thing. A boat in Minecraft. You place this on top. It just it just looks cool, doesn't it? Look at that shaking away. I just think it looks great. Okay, so we'll, we'll not keep it. It makes a racket though. That's the only issue. If it was quiet, it would be perfect. All right, it looks good, just not with sound basically. <laughs> and then we've got the uh, the bouncing concrete, which I also think is great. Although I I, I did mess up, didn't I? I seem to remember messing up and putting black and green concrete in the same place when it was meant to be black in the middle or something. So, yeah, that's, that's it's like flashing colors, but it still looks pretty cool. Uh, what do we got here? This is, it's just a satisfying thing, thing to do. You just grab your shovel and look at that. It's just cool, isn't it? Okay, there's no, there's no doubts about it. All right, I'm not going to do that for too long though, because yeah, we'll, we'll be here all day. We got, we got, yeah, we've got a lot of snowballs, by the way. If anybody needs any snowballs, give me a shout, all right? Because that's how you get millions of snow. <laughs> uh, this, oh, this is where you can just bounce on a slime, because I thought, for some reason, I thought that that was quite satisfying. Yeah, it's kind of, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Okay. <clears throat> Just doing a massive slime jump. It could probably be better, but uh, in hindsight. But you know what? We'll, we'll take that, okay? We'll take that. And then if we go around here, I think. Is this just... Oh, this is where you just pick up all the arrows. All right. So this bit's not the satisfying part. All right. I don't know if I'm going to get all the arrows in. This is going to be annoying for me to put them all back, isn't it? I just realized. Okay. Let's just, let's just let them all come out, because... Yeah, you know, that's not the, that's kind of satisfying itself, but then you pick them all. Although it doesn't look so cool, like it just like they just like fade out, so it's not quite quite as good as uh, as you would have thought it was. I, I thought this might take longer, but there's only six dispensers, so it's only gonna take me a second, and then we move on to the next interesting thing. I haven't even left my house yet. This is all the the underground stuff. Do you have, do you guys have loads of things built underground in your uh, in your world? Okay, this is water on fire, which for some reason is still a thing in Bedrock. I don't know if I can still. It still works or not, but it, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, I mean, I'm not touching it. If, if that lasts forever, that'll be uh, be perfect. We've also got this. This is like, I think, the fastest way you can run. Trap doors on blue ice. It's uh, it's as fast as it gets, basically. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. And then finally, we have got the one million billion end crystals. So they're all they're all moving around and they just they just look cool. Okay, that's yeah. I can't believe if I ever blow that up by mistake, I I will be dead. Okay, guys, there's about sixty odd. There might be more. I don't know how many end crystals. There's a lot of end crystals anyway. So yeah, that's that's kind of a uh, a cool exhibit at the end as well. That's why it's covered in obsidian. Okay, so I think I should probably show you my slime farm as well. You're gonna be interested to see that. Those stairs, they just lead to a cave. They don't really lead to anything. You know, I'm gonna show you what's at the bottom of here anyway. So basically, it it was meant to be an automatic mining machine. So it's a machine that automatically mines up for you and then. Uh, puts it in a, a chest for you. However, it, it didn't work um, because the redstone broke a bit. I think I could probably make it work now that bedrock redstone is a bit better. 
But I can, honestly, I don't see the point of it, really. It's just, it's just a laggy thing. So that's what's down here. I could probably build something way better, but that's, that's at the bottom of the stairs. Um, we can probably get at least it. Right, yeah, I think... No, 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 I need to go and show you my slime farm, actually. Okay, because that is, that is one of the first things I built as well. Because when you start on Minecraft, slime, it's important. All right, now I do have an XP farm down it. Do I show you it? I'm not going to go down and show you. It's just it's just a room where I'm, I, I take out mobs. I mean, it's not that exciting, really. It's just by a spawner. So, you know what? If you want to see that, you you, you know, you, you're not going to see it today. So, anyway, this is the slime farm. This is just as just as exciting, really. <laughs> so, uh, if we go in here, um, because obviously when you, you start Minecraft, you want to get slime so you can make sticky pistons because you need sticky pistons for so many things like doors and, and all sorts of stuff. So, I, uh, I made a slime farm. <clears throat> I don't see any slimes down here at the moment i don't think so i think this was on a in a in a slime chunk if i'm, if I'm not mistaken oh i did also break bedrock down here didn't i that took a long time because i had to break all the bedrock around it first but yeah look at that we, we broke bedrock we've got the i think i could fall through that actually i better not <laughs> i forgot about that down here i'm glad i uh, i'm glad i came down here now uh so yeah i used to what i used to do is i used to stand in the corner here and like place i guess i just have all sorts of stone or glass here and then I just wait for slimes to spawn, and I come back, and I'd see slimes would spawn down here, and uh, I'd take them out. So that was that was basically all there was to it. Okay, that's my slime farm. Um, I do have my old old strip mines down here as well, but I, I kind of felt like I strip mined the area to death, so I, I I moved to like the other side of the world. I went to Extreme Hills Barn actually, so I could find um, emeralds as well in my strip mining. I, I did eventually one day wanted to have glowstone on the whole floor, but I I gave up with that project when I got this far. I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. I'll just dot them about. It makes more sense. Little place to get rid of uh, items as well, right? So yeah, strip mines down that way. This strip mines down that way. Uh, I don't need strip mines. No, that's that's the way in and out. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll climb on out of here, and I I think we've we've we'll, we'll, we'll go to the Nether next. Actually, that's probably the the next thing to do. So we get to go back into the beautiful Nether portal room. I love the blue fire. I think it's brilliant. One of the best things added to Minecraft. Blue fire. Absolutely fun. I don't like the Soul Sand Valley, but I like blue fire. So here we are uh, in the uh, in the Nether. This is my Nether. Why is there a fox here, you may be wondering? I don't know either, to be honest with you. It's probably someone doing my curse portal. Uh, there's a chicken over there as well. There's, <laughs> there's chickens and... Oh, no. Oh, are you okay? Okay. We oh, there he Oh, dear. There's nothing I can do. Isn't... He's just going to burn forever. Wow, they have a lot of health. He lasts a long time in, in that lava. Anyway, um, this is my, uh, my ice house, my frozen fire house. Okay, because I thought, you know what? You need you need a house in, in the nether. That's all snowy and icy because it's like, oh, this is really cold, but how can this possibly exist and not melt? Well, it works, apparently, guys. It, it works. And look at that emergency stake. Or, and I need a flint and steel in case my portal gets broken, okay? That's, that's some uh, some important stuff. So, yeah, this is uh, that house. I like it. That chicken looks like he's going to be a, uh, a cooked chicken pretty soon. The other cool thing that I... Probably my favourite thing in the nether is the uh, thing through here, which is... Oh, what are you doing here? Get out of here, you. Uh, this is my uh, nether village. So if I just press this button and come through. Don't try and escape. He's been trying to escape for years, this guy. Hasn't he? Um, so yes, this is the nether village. We have uh, we have my villages. Kind of like the ender village. Uh, but I do like it. It's, it's in a bit of a smaller space. Um, yeah, you're not sleeping this time, are you guys? You're, you're hard at work. So, so yeah, cool little place. I do like it very much indeed. We've got farmers. Although I, I couldn't obviously place wheat in here. So they farm nether wart instead. Um, because we can't get water in. Look at that, the trading. Yeah, trade some of that as well. Don't look at me like that. All right, whilst they're busy, I better hatch and escape. Okay, so that's that. Obviously, eventually I'll build more stuff in the Nether since now we've got the Nether update. Um, I haven't, I haven't really built anything new in the Nether update. Like, I want to make it build another base. As well, of course, there's a fortress there and a fortress here. So a really good spawn from another portal as well when, uh, when I first spawned in, right by a fortress. That's like the dream. Like my house, like, so the world spawn is actually above the stronghold. You go through a portal and it takes you straight to... Uh, it's, let's get rid of the freezing. There we go. It, and it takes you straight to the fortress. It would be like a speedrunner's dream with this sea, wouldn't it? <laughs> Back in the Xbox 360 day. All right. So I think we've covered my whole house now. Um, yeah, because we've, we've been... Oh, no. We need to go down here, actually. We need to go down this way. So we did go down to the fish place. All right. You've seen that. No problem. But there is more here, okay? We've got the the snooker room. So he's got my snooker tables in, you know, if, if any of you like snooker, t playing snooker or pool or anything like that. Come down here, okay? I think... I used to have it. Yeah, so it used to be when I first built this that signs would actually, you'd be able to see them through carpet if you place carpet on top. They changed it now so you can't. So it did used to look like there was like snooker cues on the table, but now it doesn't. So it's, it's ruined. Minecraft ruins yet another thing. And we have also got my treasure room. So this is this is a room filled with my, my 
you know, my most glorious treasures like an Ender Dragon egg. We've got an Ender Dragon head, a Lightra, Total and Dime, Beacon, Wither Skull, and of course, we've got the Diamond Room. Look at it, it's beautiful. Doesn't it just look great, this room, okay? You thought I had a lot of diamonds, guys. Yeah, I got so many diamonds, I could build a room like this. Just, just flexing on you guys. <laughs> and all these emeralds, yeah, that's from trading, that's easy. Gold, yeah, we have a gold farm. Yeah, we, I've got everything in this world, you name it, I've got it. So, um, yeah, also, down there, you already saw, is the fish tank room, so we're not going to... I'm not going to visit that again. You, you only get to see things once today, guys, okay? It is dark again. Man, I must be talking for way too long, all right? Let me sleep and then we'll, we'll explore the next things. So I'm going to attempt to do this in a methodical way. I have no idea if it will. Okay, so here we'll start with this. This is a chest, okay? You put this chest in here, they will go straight to the auto storage and get sorted. All right, next thing, the glass garden, okay? It's now full. I decided to stop adding people to the glass garden, okay? But, um... Yeah, this is this is it. All right. So, you know, like the first these are the early subscribers all in here. Okay, those early people They've uh, you might even be able to see your name on here. I, I don't know um, if you if you got added. So yeah, that's um That is the uh, the glass garden very uh, very cool indeed, but yeah, I, I decided to stop doing that So um, yeah, uh, so, so don't ever ask me to be in the glass garden because the answer is well I'm not doing that anymore. I'm afraid you you're not gonna be the only one that gets added next I'm afraid <laughs> <laughs> all right, and all the comments will be, SP, please continue with the glass garden. Just just build another one. I don't know. Make it bigger. No, it's not happening. All right, this is uh, my monument to Boris. We did try to save Boris's life. He was my first ever dog. Sadly, it, uh, it wasn't to be, though, okay? So we just made a, a monument for him. Um, so, yeah, that's that's that. We have over here. Let's, let's, let's before we go to the dog room, uh, this is my dog house. Let's go to the, um, the cursed nether portal, okay? So this is... I, did, I found a, I, I, I didn't find a glitch, but I used a glitch that allows you to get portal blocks, and I made a cursed nether portal. Doesn't this just feel very cursed here? Look at that. So I think that's why there was a fox and a chicken that had got through the portal, because that leads to the same portal down there uh, in the nether. So that's that's my thinking. This is the year we are in. We're in 2020, guys. Yeah, it's, it's been a great year so far, hasn't it? Okay, this might be the highlight of the year. Episode 500. <laughs> the only good thing to come out of 2020. Righty, we've also got ourselves, yeah, the doghouse. So are they all in here? Yeah, I looked them all down here. So we've got nugget and lightning and thunder and and, and frosty and my personal favorite dinner bone because he just looks like <laughs> he looks so funny <laughs> we've got duncan we've got lily okay and uh yeah if i want to take a random dog with me i just press that and uh apparently it it, it would have been alfred although alfred has gone i think to the desert doghouse so it wouldn't have been alfred i would have had to go all the way to the desert to get him you have to say yeah desert doghouse sp what are you talking about you'll have to wait and see guys <laughs> so we move on now to uh my snow snow my frozen factory i think it's called actually we have an escaped snow golem here, should be here, but it's the same principle as the satisfying room. This is how I just can farm up snow like, like that. Yeah, see, easy peasy. And also an ice farm. So what I do is I'd mine all the ice and then you release these pistons. It would make infinite water sources and then you could press the pistons again and then the ice would slowly freeze and you can mine it as well. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a great little ice farm. Okay, we'll, we'll carry on round here. What is this? Oh, this is a sad moment. This was Pingu. He, he didn't make it, sadly. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a grave. Um, this is the, I think the TU25 house, is that right? Yeah, welcome to TU25. So this is, this is using, uh, all the blocks that were added in, uh, the, 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 the TU25 update, title update 25 on Xbox 360. So I just use only these types of blocks and obviously added stained glass, added, uh, different fences. Um, <laughs> is that about it really? I also added, added book and quill, added new doors. It didn't seem like the biggest update. Iron trap doors, I think, were a thing. It didn't add glowstone. We already had glowstone at that point. I think, is that everything? Yeah, I, you know what? I, I, I really milked it. Because we had so many different glass. I wanted to make a glass house, I guess. <laughs> so that is the, uh, yeah, the TU25 house. Uh, over here, we have the, uh, the the sawmill. So this is where I can chop up logs. All right, they just they come through this thing. And then they get sawn down on by the saw. I, I, I don't know, I really like the sawmill, to be honest. I think it was a... I think it really just did what I wanted it to be. Like, it just worked, you know? It just never never normally happens like that. Look at we've even got all sorts of leaves in here. Beautiful, okay? So, yeah, you can see we've got a, a tree going through there about to be sawn up. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. We've got a random jungle tree here. Don't ask. I think that was a challenge Fred did. Um, I think... I don't know where my... I don't know the best direction to go here. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go, we'll go to Cosmo's house. Cosmo is out exploring the world, so he's, he's not actually here at the moment. But... Um, yeah, if we go and we'll, we'll go and have a look at his house anyway. I think I think his his pet gummy might still be there. I don't know. Is it, it doesn't still say he's gone fishing, does it? No, he's not gone fishing. Yeah, so this is Cosmo's house. Cosmo the alien. Um, there's numerous videos with Cosmo if you want to know what he looks like. 
So I'll check them out. But yeah, there's little uh, little gummies, little slime pet who, who loves me. Okay, leave me alone. Um, <laughs> you're all slimy. Uh, we missed a bit of snow here. We need to we need to get that fixed. Um, and next we have over here. I guess we'll do this little dirt house. I think Fred just gave me a challenge to build a dirt house, so I did, and it's 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 stuck. I like it to be honest. I, for some reason, look, I've even got a spare bed in there if I need it. It's got a pink bed. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I think it it looks. It looks good for some reason. I, I, I built a dirt house and it looked good. I'd love to tell you like, oh, yeah, this was my first house, guys. This is this is where I spent the first night. I built a little dirt house and living. Yeah, it, it wasn't like that at all, guys. I just I just randomly built it. So yeah, <laughs> there's never any cool stories behind it. I could make a fake story, but I ain't doing that. So next we've got Fiona's house, which is uh, is here and here's Fiona herself. Okay, Fiona, what do you? What, yeah, you want to say hello? So this is Fiona, the the only female villager in the entire world, more or less, and um, yeah. Yeah, it's a long story. You have to watch Fred's girlfriend to know how, how Fiona came into the world. <laughs> um, but she likes, she likes brewing and stuff like that. So she's uh, she's messing about with that at the moment. She likes all the fancy colours that come with it. So, yeah, that's uh, that's Fiona. Um, never worked out with her and Fred. Yeah, yeah, it's a long story, but you'll have, you'll have to watch the episode to know why Fiona and Fred aren't, aren't still together. <laughs> Alrighty, we've got uh, my, my cat's homes. So uh, this one's a bit like a spaceship, this one, isn't it? So here we have... Um, uh, we have Penny and Peter. So here's Peter and here's Penny. All right. So they, uh, yeah, they they live in this little home here. Very nice. I have a million cats in my world. I have loads up upstairs in my bedroom. I have Hannah and Anna here. So I believe you're Anna and you're Hannah. If I've if I've got that right. Um, I don't have any signs telling me otherwise. But they've got a very fancy house as you can see. And uh, this was originally Anna's house. So uh, that's why it's got a giant A in orange. So I, I was right. That is that is Anna and that is Hannah. But then Hannah, we got Hannah as well, and she moved in with Hannah. So, you know, keep each other company, basically. Uh, we've also got my slime home. So the way you get into the slime home is you press this button, and up you go. And uh, you can live in a, a slime house, and it's even got a fireplace in it for some reason. <laughs> There's nothing much else in here, but that's that's my slime home, okay? Very nice indeed. Oh, this is a very cool thing, this next thing. I forgot about that. I forgot I even did this. Okay, so... Uh, I, I remember, I, do you remember I told you I, I, in the end, I found a way to get bedrock and mine it? Well, I put it to good use, okay? And I, look at this, the portal blocks I've got as well. It's a very, very cool thing, this, I think. Um, this is where my pet Wither lives, okay? I made him a bedrock cage. I was looking for ways so I could have a pet Wither, I could trap him. And uh, and I found a way to get bedrock, and it all came together. So uh, if we go through here, this is where the pet Wither lives. Should we, should we just be careful there? Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's, he's, I've made him upside down as well. <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeah, the uh, the upside down pet wither, eh? So there he is, my pet wither. Okay, he's a bit useless at hitting you, apparently. All right. Okay, he doesn't do much damage. All righty. But uh, yeah, he, he lives in here. Very cool. I've got lava. He can't escape, okay? It's 100% it's safe. All right. Because he can't get through gaps this big either. So it's, it's perfect, really. And I think the room just has a good feel about it. So yeah, I used up pretty much all my bedrock on that. Me pet with her. Yeah, I've got a pet. You name it, SB's got it, all right? I, pet with her. Piece of cake, mate. Okay. <laughs> Didn't need creative for that. No, I just uh, I found a glitch to get bedrock. So it looks quite dark outside. It's about to go light again. There we go. It's gone light again. So I like the way that it looks all ruined as well down here. I, I think I, I just like it, you know? I think it's a, it's a nice little thing. So over here, we have the Pampered Penguin. This is a spa kind of a place. So, um... Yeah, this is this is, is run by golems, okay, the snow golems, and uh, they uh, yeah they look after everything to make sure it's all fine, and you can do different things in here. So if we go in here, this is to give you a nice little ice bath. Look at that, it, it's great, okay. You can actually tell it that I'm in ice. Look at that. All right, and I'm I'm frozen, but it's 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 it, it does me good. All right, and then you open it back up, okay. Um, we also have, I'm not going to go in it, but uh, this is for a super hot bath, so you get fire resistance. You jump in. And uh, it, it really, it really just, it's good for your skin, guys, to have a, a lava bath, I guess. <laughs> and you can just jump in the regular jacuzzi, powered by lava, of course, so it is nice and uh, nice and warm. And then we have uh, the pig massage, if you want a massage, guys. Have you ever been massaged by pigs jumping around? Oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant, guys. It, it's it's the best massage ever. Okay. <laughs> Man, I've had some crazy ideas over the time. It doesn't get much crazier than pig massages, does it? All right, so yeah, that's... um. That's the Pampered Penguin, my little spa place, you know, for a restful retreat if you ever need it. Okay. Hello, we got a random wolf. If I had bones, we could maybe get you as a pet, but uh, not today, buddy. So, uh, yeah, this is the uh, the Snow Golem Village. So, uh, we have golems that live in the in these little igloos. So, I, I think there's a... Is there a golem in each one? Not in every single one. Uh, apparently, foxes roam here now. Oh, you want to you wanna leave? 
You're not allowed to leave, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, they, they live in the uh, the igloos around that. There seems to only be a couple at the moment. Um, a couple of them live in there. Oh, we've got my... Um, so I, I know I showed you an Ender Dragon egg in the in the spawn. Not in the spawn, the treasure room. But uh, this is where I put my first ever Ender Dragon egg. So if you flick this button and we've got this room here. It's a, it's a very nice little room. So yeah, basically there was a, for some reason... On 360, on Xbox 360, when I was, I had that, when it was on 360, um, it, you could put the Ender Dragon, you could get the Ender Dragon Egg, when I killed the Ender Dragon, of course I got that, but then you could reset the end and get, and get another one, so I, I, I did that, <laughs> got another one, and it, it lives here, so I think, can I open it up, I can't actually remember where, it, oh, here it is, you open it up, look at that, there's the egg, I'm not going to touch it, because it'll be a nightmare to get back in there, but, there it is, my Ender Dragon Egg, so yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a crazy room, this, isn't it, purple and everything, don't punch those, it will kill me. <laughs> so I'll leave those to it. Alrighty, that's me, uh, yeah, where I put my first ever Ender Dragon Egg. Oh my goodness, what are you doing here? You must be from a, 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 a previous raid, eh? Going after me villagers, are we? I don't know. Oh, I, I know, whoa! Back up! I hope Felix is okay. Oh man, he's alright. Whoa, whoa, get out of it. This must be from when <laughs> uh, I'm a Jolum attacked me, but these guys, for some reason, were never in the actual raid. There must be, I don't know what happened there. Look at that, there's more of you. How many? I didn't sign up for a raid today, did I? I think we got them all. All right, so this is um, it's a bit of the area that I never really never really did out on. You know, did as much on as I, I planned to, but we have uh, we have Felix's house. Felix is a cartographer, as you can see. He's just working away. You know, his he's, he's very life is being threatened outside. He doesn't care, all right? He's just having a great time being a cartographer, aren't you, mate? Yeah, he's, he's never had a better a better time, has it? So, yeah, he lives in this... Uh, in this house here uh, we also have the uh, the butchers okay so this is I, I don't know for some reason it reminds me a bit of a steak does this color theme so i like it so we have um the butchers here so as you see we're, we're, we're kind of well stocked but not really um we have a cow cooker down here i believe let's have a look uh yeah the cow cooker 3000 it's brilliant okay um do i press this button i, I don't honestly i don't remember exactly how it works to cook them no, I think I think I breed them and then, oh, and then it, it yeah it pushes the babies through here and when they grow up, the food goes in there and apparently we have chickens in there or something. All right, we also have an automatic chicken cooker. So yeah, this is this is automatically getting me chicken as you can see. Um, so these chickens here they lay eggs and and when uh, an egg is laid, it throws an egg out and then when these baby chickens, if it becomes a baby chicken, when the baby chickens grow, they will. Uh, let's see, look, there's, a, there's, a, there's an adult one there, so. I don't know if I have time to wait, but the next time an egg gets laid, that, that chicken is going to be uh, cooked chicken, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sorry if you're vegan, all right, but it's it's Minecraft, okay? Don't don't get too upset. All right, so that's the butchers. Um, now I, I need to do some methodical way, so I don't want to don't want to cover that area yet. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna cover a different area first. So we'll go to the farming section. I think that's probably the next the next best thing. So we have Roger the Ravager here. I captured him from a raid. He lives in here now. Yeah, not many people can say they capture a Ravager. I've got a Wither, Ravager, you name it, SB. has got it. Okay, so yeah, he lives there. Um, we've got me llamas who protect the one sheep. We have one red sheep left for some reason. I think, yeah, I think Fred took them all out, didn't he? Yeah, that's 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 a long story. You have to go and watch that video to see. Fred Fred goes evil or something. Fred turns evil. These are all my cows. They're all thriving. All right. You're not going in the cow cooker, are you guys? Yeah, don't you worry about that. And uh, we've also got Sullivan the horse. We've got me donkeys, Don uh, Darcy... Uh, Giles and 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 Kong, I think, because it's like Donkey Kong. Yeah, that's right. And then we've got uh, Freddy the horse. I think I went through a phase of calling everything Fred. I, I did have a dog called Fred. I think that died at some point. <laughs> but yeah, Fred the villager is still the most famous Fred. Uh, we have a little pig enclosure here, so they they like their uh, their compost and and stuff like that. And it, it's a bit dirty, guys. I'd, I'd wear well as if you go in there. Uh, we also have like this is the the mushroom enclosure. For some reason, the mushrooms seem to have despawned. Which is a bit of a shame, isn't it? So I'll have to get more mushrooms. And it looks like the uh, the rabbits have turned themselves into a into a horse. That's all I can say. <laughs> there used to be two rabbits in here, but they must have escaped or despawned or something. So that's that's also a bit of a shame. All right. Uh, yeah. Hopefully uh, that's not the case for all of the all the things. I need to fix that. Add that to the list. Here's the chickens. Okay, we've got we've got loads of chickens, and we've got it. We've got here as well a sheep that thinks he's a chicken. Is it two sheep? Yeah, two sheep that think they're chickens. All right. We decided not to tell them that they're, they're, they're not chickens, so they, they live here like every all the other chickens. Let's throw all those in there, perfect. 
And then we'll, uh, oh, go on then, more eggs. Sorry, I don't mean to hit you with your own eggs. <laughs> it's a bit of a hit in the face, isn't it? Um, right, let's go on next to the polar bear enclosure. Is the polar bear, is he despawned? Don't tell me. The polar bear was hard work to get in there. But I've had a problem with him despawning a bit. Or, or being kidnapped. One or the other. Yeah, polar bear's not, yeah, believe me, there's a polar bear that used to live in here. I don't know, they need to fix this, does Minecraft, alright? If I name tag something, it shouldn't despawn. <laughs> Stupid Minecraft. Alright, and I've, I've locked myself in the polar bear enclosure now. That's just great, isn't it? No, you can easily get out. The polar bear can't fit out, but you can. Okay, so it's getting dark. I've got to, uh, I've got to hurry up here. Let's go and check out my skeleton horses. Uh, they, they've not despawned. That's good. Okay. I'm sure I had one here, actually. Sammy's disappeared. But uh, Sally and Shelly, they uh, they live here very happily. Uh, my llamas, my llamas have despawned. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I just haven't got them all back. It's, you know, once upon a time, this was a thriving thing. But now... It's uh, it's not as uh, not as good. So instead, in, in this la this used to be you know full of llamas. It's now got a chicken and a a sheep in it. So yeah, that's, that's a great upgrade, isn't it? <laughs> Just what I was definitely not wanting to happen. Um, and then over here we have got ourselves uh, the shulker home. Yeah, I've got shulkers as well. I got them in a. I think you put them in a boat and transport them back. That was hard work. And use pistons and stuff to get them through the portal. So you can get hit by them. Okay, and then you float on up here. And obviously you think, oh no, I'm going to float away. I'm never, I'm never going to survive this fall. But uh, of course, there's water here to make sure you survive the fall. And then next door, the killer bunny enclosure. That's going to be a, an interesting thing. Okay, here we go. Any second now. All right, let's see. We're, we made it. Okay, perfect. So let's go and check out the, uh, the the killer bunny. I don't know if he is still a killer bunny. I think he might have gone friendly now, actually. Yeah, you know what? I shouldn't, I shouldn't ruin the illusion. He did used to be a killer bunny. Kevin the killer bunny. I turned him evil, but. He seems to be all right now. <laughs> he looks evil. He's looking at me. Actually, I don't like that. No, you know what? He's not happy. He's not happy one bit, is he? Okay. There's always like that. You must be one of the escaped llamas, are you? I don't know. So, um, before I go and check out these next two buildings, let's go across the river and check out what we've got along the bridge. All right. So we go across this bridge, and here we have my uh, my pet foxes. So we have uh, two. Oh, I, I'm missing a fox as well. I don't know. I don't know where one of my foxes has gone. That's not good. I've only got one fox at the moment. What on earth? Wait, do you get hurt by... Oh, wait, I didn't... Wait, do you get hurt by... Um... Bushes now? Oh, why am I not getting hurt by them? I have no idea. You don't get hurt. I just saw you get hurt. Hmm. Very, very strange indeed, that. Hopefully my foxes are alright. Um, thing is, things change in updates and things can go wrong, but... Yeah, they'll be fine, I'm sure. So they, they, they have them. Um, they like looking at chickens, so they have loads of chickens next to them. Okay, I'm not sure where my other one is. I'll get him back, don't you worry. Uh, we also have my uh, my drowned farm. So this is connected to a, a, a mob spawner. They then go in the water and they drown it, and then you just literally you hit this button, and apparently one escapes. Here we go. Um, and yeah, they all get taken out. It's a bit of a racket, going to be honest with you, but uh, it, it squashes them close long enough. They all get taken out, it opens back up, and uh, the chests fill up with all the tridents and stuff like that. So that's that's pretty good, okay? Um, yeah, very handy to have a drowned farm, it has to be said. This is my auto XP farm. So this actually makes kelp. Although, I know I got rid of the smokers because I was having tr <laughs> This is stupid. This. I was having trouble with the villagers through here wanting to be uh, uh, using the smokers as a job site block instead of the, f the fletching table like I wanted them to. So, yeah, this is... Um, this, this does work though, okay? It's just not in progress at the moment, but as you can see, I've got loads of kelp. I think I, I made this, look how long I made it. So yeah, we've got we've got a lot of kelp guys, as you can see, and I've, I've crafted them all into kelp blocks and stuff because we have, I don't know if this still works, but we have a zero tick kelp farm up here. So whether that still works, I have no idea to be honest with you. I wonder if I flick the lever, let's see what happens, shall we? Uh, I have no idea. It might not work anymore. It, um, it might work and I just need to fix it. I probably need to fix it because I didn't use it for so long. Anyway, that's uh, that's not too important. Let's uh, <laughs> continue. So this is the fox farm. No, this is the, the sweet berry farm. So this might be where my fox went. Did I put him in here? Um, so I have my fox. I don't know why there's a cat here. But uh, they, they go and harvest the berries for me. And then they uh, a minecart hopper comes and picks them up. So if we go down here, they're all the, the berries are being picked up. I don't know why I ever needed so many berries. But, um, yeah, we, we've got them anyway, as you can see. We've got we've got lots of berries, okay? It's an AFK berry farm. It's automatic. It's brilliant. 
We don't need them all, but it's cool anyway. Uh, we also have my, uh, this is like a, a Fletcher farm that I made. So all these villagers, they will trade sticks with me. So if we go down here, we have a, I think it's a little bit of a tree farm down here. Is that, is that correct? Let's go and have a little look. Yeah, we've got, we've got dark oak trees so I can mine these and uh, put the sticks. We've got loads of emeralds. You know, let's add those emeralds in there as well. And uh, I can mine these and then trade with the Fletchers. I can play, trade with them a few times a day and give them sticks and they will give me emeralds in return. So, you know, you can get a lot of emeralds pretty fast with uh, with that method, can't you? Alrighty, next move on to the honey farm. So this is, again, automatic. Uh, the bees, well, <laughs> they fill up the honey, the honey things. And then when it's full, um, a redstone signal goes out and they uh, go into a honey bottle. So you can see I could get loads and loads of honey if I wanted to. Should we go and craft ourselves a ton of honey? Why not? Okay. So if we go like this, there we go. We, we've, oh, have we, have we got, let's have a look. Oh, no, we don't want to do that, do we? No. We just want to. We just want to make that. Okay, perfect. And then we can go and do the the same again, shall we? Yeah. Let's 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 get rid of all this honey. Okay. We just need to make a little bit more. There we go. And then finally, put all that in. Job done. Okay. So we've 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 created a load of honey. And uh, now I can go and go to here. Uh, I have a shulker box. It's not got any honey, but uh, any water bottles in here. But I believe I filled all these hoppers up, as you can see, with this. And then if I go and put these. In here, it would have made more sense to just put them straight into uh, the minecart. But you see, that's full as well. And then that just goes and fills these hoppers up. Keeps them topped up and they'll keep uh, filtering into the uh, the thing as well. So that's that's a pretty um, pretty nifty little system to get me loads of honey. A bit over the top, probably a bit unnecessary, but I like it anyway. <laughs> so we, we roll with it, okay? We, we keep going with it. So that's, that's this side of everything. Um... We can now go uh, go to the other farms on the other side of everywhere. So here we have my uh, my mob trap. I, 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 it was a mob grinder or something. Although apparently something's gone wrong. All right, the the, the lava's not taking them out like it used to, and they've they've all turned to drowned. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, yeah, it, it used to work perfectly. You can see it still does get me a lot of mob drops. So you know, ender pearls and all this um, works well. I won't go down here, but basically it's a dark room uh, down here somewhere. Mob spawn in it. They get filtered through. And they go up this tube and then they come through and then the lava kills them and they drop. Well, the water push them on and then the lava kills them and then their stuff goes in the hoppers. And it, it does work, trust me. Just not right now. It's uh, it's not working apparently. <laughs> Alrighty, the next is the redstone factory. All your redstone dreams in this factory. Okay, guys. So uh, here we have the, uh, the the compost room. This makes me, tell me, makes me bone meal. So I, I put things like cactuses and kelp and bamboo and sugarcane i think all those kind of things can be made filtered into here into the composters and made into bone meal which is, is a great way to get loads of bone meal if i need it for whatever reason so you see i've got an afk sugarcane farm the moment that bit of sugarcane grows uh, it will push all the sugarcane out i don't know if i can actually get to the other get, get to any sugarcane don't know if i can so we should i try and uh, pick some up what do you reckon there we go so if i go and Place that there. There we go. Push them all out. They all grow, and uh, they begin they begin their cycle again. Although I've, I've messed it up a bit now because I can't can't replant it. We'll leave that as it is for now. I'll fix it another day. Um. So yeah, on this farm side we've got an oak tree farm with a creeper. So yeah, I can just mine the trees, and then the water picks up all the saplings, and then the saplings go into here. And apparently eggs do because chickens like to live in there. <laughs> uh, we've got my farm of of wheat and and carrots and everything, potatoes. So <clears throat> that all filters out. This was my battery chicken, so there's only one chicken left in here, apparently. Uh, they lay eggs. As you can see, I've got more eggs than an egg shop. So, you know, they, they just would lay eggs indefinitely and fill them up. I don't need any more eggs, guys. Uh, cactus farm. So this is also AFK. So what I would do is I'd grab, like, cactuses like this. So every time a cactus grows, it breaks, and the water filters it into there. So that's that's pretty pretty standard cactus farm stuff. But we, uh, we, 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 we kind of had a use for it because... We just go and be like, oh, well, well, we'll chuck it into there. And I do believe it it, it, it can go into, co into composting. Can, uh, can this? I'm not going to fill them all into each one. That'll take me all day, won't it? So the the bone meal should go up, I think. Is that emptying out? Okay, maybe you can't. No, you can't look. See, look, it's filling up. And then the bone meal, the bone meal rises. Okay, let's have a look. There you go. It's gone up one. So yeah, that works perfectly. For a second, I was second guessing myself. Like, SP, you, you, are you an idiot? No, you're not an idiot. You're, your Minecraft knowledge is intact. Okay. <laughs> uh, we've also got ourselves an AFK bamboo farm. Although it looks like it's broken because there should be a minecart moving 
Back and forth, picking up the bamboo. Is the minecart moving? Doesn't look like it to me, does it? Where's it at? I don't see where the minecart is. Is it? Is it despawned or something? Hmm. Seems like... Uh, yeah, I don't know where the minecart's gone, but it, it, there should be a minecart moving back and forth along there, um, sorting everything out. But apparently it's uh, it's, it's not working. So we'll, we'll leave it to it for now. I'll fix it another time. Add that to the list of things to do. Um, we've got ourselves pumpkin farm, melon farm. I think this is full, though, with pumpkins and melons. Yeah, so we don't, we don't get any more. Basically, whenever they grow... Um, a piston would push them and they break. Okay, this is all my nether wart farm. We can we can push the button, can't we? So we push this button. It breaks all the nether wart and uh, it, it's a pretty it's a pretty standard thing. They just go into there, they filter into the hopper, and then they all they fill up the chest. So that's that's pretty easy. Uh, same here. I've got this. This is how I get my chorus plant um, seeds because you need the seeds and then you plant all the seeds on here. And then what you do is you just push this button. And the water flows down, as you can see, and it would take them all out, fill them into the hoppers, and you can get yourself chorus fruits like that. Okay, so that's a pretty standard uh, standard thing. And then if I just get rid of all that, there you go. That's that's that. So that's the redstone factory. Downstairs, we've got upstairs as well. AFK kelp farm no longer works. Uh, they changed the mechanics, but I still have a lot of... Well, I, don't have, I did have a lot of kelp. I used it all up on my other kelp farm <laughs> to make uh, dried kelp. So, yeah, you see we've got a pretty uh, industrial uh, thing here. Same with the sea pickle farm. Um, it, you, they changed how mechanics work again, so this no longer works. But I got a lot of sea pickles while it did work. So, who's the real winner? <laughs> they still haven't fixed third person, have they? Look at that. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, and, yeah, that's everything up here, basically. That's, uh, that's the redstone factory. I should go and find a, a bed to sleep in, shouldn't I? That's probably the next thing I need to do. And then we can continue exploring and the next thing on the agenda is i guess the, the tree farm yeah this is the orchard um you might throw back to a time when i used to put signs and everything so i could remember what it was called <laughs> so we have uh, the regular orchard here this is the one i originally built and they expanded it to be underground because they added new trees to minecraft so then we've got acacia ones jungle trees although they never the jungle trees weren't new but i just didn't really like farming jungle trees i don't really like jungle wood but um i added it for completeness and then, uh, yeah, we've also got the uh, dark oak trees as well. So that was uh, that was very cool indeed. Let's go and get up to the top of here. Uh, so we have got the Pigman Palace over there. But before we go there, let's go into here. Concrete factory. Looks like some skeletons didn't make it there. So um, basically, I think in here we got loads of, we've got concrete. We don't need concrete powder. Yeah, we've got concrete powder. So what you do is you just sit here. And every time you place a block, the redstone torch underneath sends a signal into it which turns on a repeater which pushes the piston basically so it just goes like that but because it's next to water it also turns like it's concrete powder guys but you place it next to there and it becomes that so what would happen is you would do this okay and it's almost at the end and once it gets to the end it also creates another redstone signal which pushes all these pistons along and moves it so there you go and then you can just so you can just keep infinitely doing this until the whole thing fills up, basically. So it's a, it's just a great way to turn your concrete powder into concrete, because obviously concrete is a pretty useful building block. Um, so yeah, that's that's my little, uh, my little concrete farm. And then next to this, I have myself uh, a windmill. So there's not a lot, not a lot to uh, to say about the windmill, really. It's just I, I, I was really proud of this as a build. You know, I just thought it looked good as a build. You know, I think, um, yeah, I liked it. So I, I did all the interior as well, and. Yeah, it's just a nice little way to have a look around the world, get a good view. Everyone needs a windmill. It's not particularly functional per se. Um, I mean, it does have chests in here, a, a, a chest in a chest. There you go. Um, but that's that's about it really. Um, so yeah, that's me. That's me. Nice little windmill. If we go and head back down here, we're we'll able to see the fish farm now. My personal favourite. Although I think they may have made it now. I don't know if they, they have on Java, but whether on bedrock it's the same. Fish farms don't work on bedrock. Uh, on Java, they might still work on bedrock. Basically, you'd grab your fishing rod, you'd uh, would you aim about there? Mm, I don't know. Oh, but I aim at that. Mm, I don't remember how this works now, actually. Unless unless the fishing rod just doesn't work the same. Oh, there we go. And then you and you go like that. Okay. And then and then when you pick up a fish, it would uh, it would close the trap door. Is that right? And you'd you'd be all right. But I think I need to look down slightly, don't I? Oh, there's strings in the way now, though. Unless I, look, hmm, I don't remember exactly. <laughs> it does work. It did work anyway. I got I got a lot of fish from it. Um, oh, I can't even know because the slabs on the chains away slabs work. So 
yeah, I haven't used that in a while, to be honest, guys. And you could probably show us, doesn't it? And then we have also got ourselves... What should we go for? for the gold farm or the iron farm? Let's go iron farm first. So this iron farm doesn't even work anymore. Because they obviously they changed how villagers work in the village and pillage update. And I've never never bothered to update it because I, I haven't really need any, needed any more iron so far. Because I have... You know, I see I've got quite a lot of iron still. Yeah, I'm doing all right in the iron department, guys. Um, So I don't think... Yeah, I don't think iron golems spawn in here. I don't even think there's any villagers left, to be honest. So, um, yeah. It, uh, one day I may I may rebuild it, but it's, it's a big project. I don't know if I can be bothered because I've got plenty of iron at the moment. So it did work. doesn't work anymore, but it was very useful. Um, yeah, because it was AFKable, so it was very handy indeed. We've also got ourselves... This is, this is my pigman palace. So this is where pigmen live. So if you didn't know, in nether portals, there's a chance for a pigman to randomly spawn through. So if a pigman randomly spawns in, he can live here. And he, he has a great a great life living in this this palace, doesn't he? So I don't know if there's any around at all. I've got an upstairs. It's like a TV, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, upstairs, downstairs. Don't see any at the moment, though. But if we go downstairs, there's even more. How do we go downstairs? I forgot, actually. In the corner of here, I think. Yeah. So there's even more stuff down here. If we go head down. More portals, as you can see. And then when a pigman spawns, he tries to walk onto the trap doors. And he falls down. And he dies. And uh, it fills up these with uh, with gold, golden ingots or whatever. So, yeah, they're called zombified piglin now, I think, aren't they? So, yeah, they all they all fall down, and then uh, yeah, I get gold from that. It's just AFK gold farm. I don't think I have any gold left. Though. Yeah, used it all up, and I don't really AFK down here very much now. So, not much gold. Don't don't need any more gold. You know, you kind of just do it for a bit, and you get enough gold in it. Last year, a long, long time. So that's that's uh, that's the story behind that. So, I think I've kind of covered. Covered like my house and all of my farms, haven't I? Um, and I haven't, I haven't really covered like all the, all, all these things I've built and you know quite, a, quite a few extra things that I've, I've not yet gone to and like stuff away from my house. So I'm thinking, like this video is already long enough. I've been recording for an hour, so it must be quite a, a, a long, a long time already. I reckon we, we, we push this on to be a two-parter. All right, so next episode. I mean, you can see just how much... I forgot just how much I've got to discuss, like so much I've built. So I've, I've covered this part, but all of this, we've got to explore. So next episode, I will I'll take you on a tour around all of that. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's been really nice sharing everything that I've built, because obviously there's a lot of stories behind everything that I have to explain. It's not just like, oh, look at that. There's a snow golem, and there's that, and there's that. It's like, no, well, I built this, and this happened, and then, you know, it's, there's a lot more to it than just uh, walking past. So this is like the 101 of everything you need to know without having to watch the entire series, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I'm trying to be thorough. Don't want to miss anything because this may be, well, it'll be the only world tour I do for a long, long time anyway. Put it that way. So it's got to be, it's got to be done right, hasn't it, guys? That has to be said. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll leave it there. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new and then you get a notification for the part two of this, this world tour. Look at that. Penguin Towers over there. What's all about? Oh, listen. We haven't been to Ima Jones Base, the desert area, the Candyland, the snowy area. You know, there's a lot of areas to, uh, to still check out guys and, and little bases around that I need to remember to uh, to go and visit far away bases and extra houses so looking forward to uh, doing that next episode hopefully I can get through it all next episode <laughs> but we'll have to wait and see so yeah like I said thank you so much for watching hopefully I will see you guys next time <laughs>